born premature, three pounds and something, in my grandfather's home. My incubator was an armchair pushed up against the wood stove in the kitchen. I just laid there, but someone was always up all night long to keep the fire going. We didn't have very much when we were young, but we didn't know it. My mother and father never talked finances around us. During the Depression, my mother's brothers, uh, one brother would come over one night with his family for supper, and the other one would come over on another night with his family for supper. I just thought it was wonderful we had all this company, but what they really came for was the meal. We had this half cellar with a dirt floor and stone walls, and we also had this huge barrel of apples and this huge barrel of potatoes and this huge slab of bacon. Well, after I grew up, I learned that after those meals, my mother would go down to the basement to get apples and potatoes and bacon for her brother's families. Because during the Depression, everybody helped everybody. Neon colors filled the night at the Little Harlem. The world was always darling, was my lucky star and a sight for all to Music they wouldn't listen to Vietnam protests marching through But all families quarrel Now and again After we were married, we agreed that I would make all of the major decisions in our marriage and my wife would make all of the minor decisions. Well, in 55 years, there hasn't been one major decision. You want my life's philosophy? Ooh, that's deep. All right, how about this? You don't buy green bananas. He said, my girl, and I was someone special. I somehow felt like someone new. predict the future, so don't even try. We didn't predict the Depression, and it came. We didn't predict World War II, and it came. And look what's going on in the world right now. I don't think any generation can plan for what's tomorrow. I mean, tomorrow is a promissory note, but today is cash. Now we have